42. Stuff a bear. I like this one. Listen. Stuff a bear into the Batmobile. Batman would be like, ah, a bear. And then that bear would kill him. But if Batman beat the bear, Superman could just keep putting bears in every room that he enters. Because you can't fight bears forever. Just ask anyone who's been killed by a bear. They distribute the Hobbit. Speed Racer. They don't <laughs> distribute Speed Racer. No, they make Speed Racer. They don't make Speed Racer. They made Speed they Racer. They made it. <laughs> yeah. There's not, a, they're not, there's not resources being tied up at Warner Brothers by a guy who's currently distributing Speed Racer. The Matrix films. What are you even talking about? <laughs> Pokemon? No. Osmosis Jones? No, what? <laughs> that one with the Chris Rocket, he's in the not human body. Not making any sequels. Mustachio Would you gentleman. watch a film where Gary Oldman as Commissioner Gordon is doing a press conference <laughs> and J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson is in the press pool, right, because all these reporters have called in sick for some reason and he's really annoyed that he has to go out into the field and interview Gary Oldman and it's just a, just a back and forth fight between the two. How good would that be? I'd watch that. <laughs> that would be amazing. Are you kidding me? You know what? That, and it ends with... There's, you know what? There's a series of scuffles. It's two hours long and there's a series of scuffles throughout the, throughout the film. <laughs> Definitely. I would watch that. Greatest movie ever made. Definitely. That's the, that's the best reason to cross over anything ever. I think so. What if I'm on my deathbed, hopefully years from now, and I take the hands of my closest family members and I draw them in and I say, I saw Star Wars in 2015 and it was fucking amazing. You all pale in comparison. I'm glad I'm dying because the fact that none of you even come close to J.J. Abrams' Star Wars The Force Awakens disgusts me. Now beat it, I'll say. And as my family file out of the room with their heads hung in shame, I'll be left with the comforting thoughts of that weird ball droid and that stormtrooper people keep insisting has ruined the series. And then, just as I'm about to quietly slip away, with a smile on my face, the blue ghost of J.J. Abrams will appear. And he'll be all inexplicably young again, and as I remember him, in my youth, and I'll throw him a knowing wink. But realistically, I'll probably not be able to stop myself from taking one final cheap shot at him for that time he told us that it wasn't Khan, and then it totally was Khan? You're a dickhead, Abrams, I'll whisper, as the light fades out of my eyes. And in that moment, I'll have won. I'll have won life!